Hello guys, this is Shazi from TechSynadius.com. Today we are going to see how to create mini maps for your games. Just like my previous tutorials, this tutorial is going to be just like very short and precise and we are not going to add much more details which are not necessary. So let's see how our final result is going to be. This is our player which is shown by the little green dot here on the minimap and when we try to move our player the minimap continuously updates itself. So let's create a new project and dive into it. I created this project just right now. Let's start by creating some environment. Let's create a cube and name it player. Let's add a very simple script for controlling the player. Player controller. So that's all for the player controller. This is a fairly very simple script. It just moves the player around and it receives the speed as a public variable. So let's click player and add the script to the player. Let's adjust the main camera. Now let's have a try. Okay, uh, the player controller is ready. Let's add some more items. You may call it enemies or some hurdles or anything. Okay, so that's all for the environment. We will not go into much deeper details. Let's add an empty game object inside the player game object and name it minimap player icon and add sprite render here. Maybe assign it a circle or anything and give it blue color because this is a player game object and scale it a little big rotate it to 90 degrees and it does not matter whether you place it here or here or maybe below the ground because uh, this will be rendered by the mini camera sorry mini map camera and not our main camera and our main camera will not render this one. Now go to layer and add a new layer. Name it minimap. And again, go to minimap player icon and select this layer, minimap. Okay. Now let's add a camera. Name it minimap camera and set its projection to from perspective to orthographic and change its rotation uh, so that it looks downward and change its position to zero zero zero
okay now change its clipping mask from everything to nothing and then just select mini map because this is our mini map camera so it will only render the things which are on mini map layer and go to the main camera then culling mask it will render everything except the mini map layer so unselect it so now when we try to change the position of the player uh, the position of the mini map player icon changes also on the screen this is because this is being rendered by the mini map camera and not the main camera so well don't worry you will you will understand it in a little bit let's create a render texture and name it mini map render texture now create canvas and inside the canvas create a raw image we will not create image here normal image we will we have to create a raw image here because we have to assign texture here so in the normal image we cannot assign this texture to the texture so that's why we have to create raw image here okay so now all of this which is showing in the game view all of this we want to be shown in the mini map and not the full screen of course so let's go to to remote so that it will be convenient for you guys okay so now maybe we want uh, our mini map to uh, to come around here or some somewhere so let's change its position to bottom left okay and go to mini map camera and assign this raw image to the render texture oh sorry uh, we have to assign this one this render texture here okay so as you can see uh, this is our main cameras view and this is our minimap cameras view we can change its position to uh, by changing the position of raw image let's first change its name to minimap render texture uh, let's drag it a little bit up maybe five and five okay and then go to minimap camera change its clear flags to solid color so that's all a little blue dot that is showing inside our mini map is our players icon so let's have a try now we can move anywhere inside of our mini map uh, so this is all for the uh, the player uh, we can see the player and its movement but we cannot see uh, this one this one or the ground or anything else so let's add minimap enemy icon just like we created minimap player icons okay Okay, that's done. Let's have a try. Right now, our enemies does not move because we didn't add uh, the scripts to it or our logic, but that's not our goal. So that's all for this tutorial. But if you guys want this mini map to look circular, 
so I can make a separate video for that and that will also be a very precise and short video hope you guys like this and understand this if you have some other questions regarding this this tutorial or another tutorial that you want to do uh, then let me know in the comment section and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel